it's been a while. Some things have changed. I changed my channel name to Brick -a Mode. I don't know. I thought it was. I thought it sounded more creative than Broski Brick, because Broski Brick honestly made no sense. But it was just a name I liked. So I might as well just go with the with my intro or whatever. Hi, Brick -a Mode here. <laughs> And today we're gonna be talk. We're gonna be talking about my predictions for the upcoming football season or NFL season, I guess you could say. Honestly, I mean, I've already, I've I've been planning this video like about a month or two ago. Cause last year when I made this video, it was I I, I did it like two or three months before the season started, and now here we are. It's honestly the first day of preseason. I guess I could. I guess I, I want to call it the first day of preseason because um, last week it was already the Cowboys and Steelers Hall of Fame game, and that's when I wanted to record the video. But I, I, I had other plans that day. So also the week before that, but I was on vacation. But you know what? We're here now. And I'm already planning to record a video, and honestly, it wasn't really this year making a prediction wasn't really easy because there were so much things going on like in the football world when it came to like Aaron Rodgers was he gonna play or Deshaun Watson getting traded or whatever but you know what I tried my best because I did two different predictions I did one where Rodgers didn't play and then and because I was so convinced that he was not gonna play this year but then I did another one where he will play but I'm I'm not gonna show the one where he wasn't gonna play, so I'm only gonna show the one where he actually were my final results, basically. And then honestly, I'm not the, I'm not very confident on that one, but you know what? It is what it is. So we'll see what happens, man. Like I guess we gotta get it off the board. Uh, I mean, there's not really much. I mean, from my last video, I, I changed the subject too much. That's what happens when I record live. But um not changing much of the subject um i guess we could talk about things that happened since draft day because i mean there wasn't really many changes cowboy wise i mean all they've really done was um get players like malik hooker uh i think that's about it i can't really think of much but um we're going we're going backwards head today actually no never mind i'm gonna cut that off of the video <laughs> I guess we can just go straight to the video. I'm trying to think of some big things that happened since draft day, but honestly, there were a lot of changes, but I can't really picture them straight out of my head. It's been kind of a weird off season, but anyways, I guess to start off with the NFC East, it will not be much of a surprise. I mean, speaking as a Cowboys fan, I'm not even like I'm very, this is not me being like, just because I'm saying this because of a Cowboys fan. But I sincerely feel confident that the Cowboys will win the NFC East 11-5. and five, That was my... No, actually, 12-5 and five was my final record. Um, I don't think it's going to be 12-5. and five, Although, when I went... Because y'all know how I, my process works with checking... With going with the records. I go through every single NFL game to... Like, from win and loss... I go very detailed on it, and my lab, my final results were twelve and five. Although I think they will finish like at least eleven and six or ten and seven, maybe. But I've ended up with twelve and five. But at the end of the day, I still think the Cowboys are gonna win the division. Second place will be the Eagles at eight and nine, and and then the Redskins. I mean Washington, my bad. Will be eight and nine, with the with the Giants being last with five and twelve. I sincerely believe the Giants will not do. That great. A lot of people are saying that they're gonna win the division. A lot of people are saying that they're gonna be so good or whatever. I mean, depending how it goes with Daniel Jones and Kenny Galladay, then that's probably the only thing I can see that would change it. But that's about it. But the NFC North will be the Packers at eleven and six, winning the division. I previously had the, either the Bears or the Vikings winning it because I was like, if Rodgers doesn't play, the Packers are not gonna do well. You, I mean, you, we've never seen really Jordan Love, like, in action, so we don't know how he'll do. I mean, I think he's playing today or tomorrow, like, preseason game, but that's that's about it. That's about it. But I still have the Packers winning it with Rodgers. Vikings, 8-9. and nine. 
Bears eight and nine in last place, being the Lions at two and thirteen. I think that's too much. I think that's too harsh on the Lions, but that's that's what I got. I don't I don't really see them being. Uh, I don't really see them winning much this year. But you know what? Well, if it, if it, if it go if it doesn't if that doesn't happen, I don't know what I'll do. I have I have a Michael Gallup signature card. I'll probably uh, sell it if for five dollars if the Lions make the playoffs. <laughs> I hope that doesn't happen. It works. I actually like this card. The NFC West, I have the Rams winning the division, twelve and five, with second place, literally a tie with the Seahawks uh, at twelve and five. But the reason I had the Rams winning it. It's because um, the Rams in the in, in when I made my prediction, the Rams sweep the Seahawks, so that's why I have the Rams going uh, uh, winning the division. I got the 49ers going nine and eight. I'm probably gonna get some. I'm probably gonna get some backlash for that one because a lot of people believe that the 49ers are gonna be like one of the best teams, like probably Super Bowl again. And then in the last place, I have the Cardinals at eight and nine. The thing I don't like about this division. It's like every single team can literally have a playoff team. So that's kind of that was kind of the hard part about this. Actually, I think I have all those teams going to the playoffs. I forgot, but anyways. Uh, but those, those are my results for the NFC West. And then going to the NFC North, I have the Buccaneers winning the division. Being in first place, actually, of the whole uh, league. Not the league, the whole, like, national. Uh, the, the whole NFC. Got him mixing up baseball right now um and again this is probably one of the harshest ones i think because i like basically there's the bucks and then the rest of the teams are literally like losing records i don't, I don't think it's gonna be like this but again this is how i the my, my numbers went when i finished when i was done with the records the saints going six and eleven i don't think Jameis winston is the truth of the saints they're gonna do terrible without true breeze Panthers going five and twelve maybe that was a reach who knows? And then the Falcons, I do think they're not going to do well. 5-12 and 12 in last place. But now, we're going to go to the AFC. Starting out with the AFC North with the Ravens. I have the Ravens winning the division at 12-5. and five, With the Browns going 11-6. and six. The Steelers 10-7. and seven, And the Bengals 7-10. and 10. I don't really have much to say. I do think the Browns and Steelers, like, it's going to be a battle between those two. It's either going to be, it's, I, at the end, I think it's going to come up to those two on who will make the wild card because the Ravens obviously win the division. I might be wrong, though. Like I always said about my predictions, but, you know, this, these are my, these are my, this is my opinion. But a lot of people say that the Bengals are actually going to do good. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they do good, but this is how I'm going off. How, uh, how I see them right now. At the end of the day, these are my opinions. They don't really matter. But the a going to the AFC East, I have the Bills winning the division at 14 and three. Uh, with the Dolphins being in second place at seven and 10, probably gonna get back less for that. The Patriots five and 12, I don't think they're good. And the Jets being five and 12. I think I don't think they're gonna be equal, but I think the Jets are still gonna be last place, even with Zach Wilson or whatever. Like, I'm not saying Zach Wilson is terrible. I just think they need a better team around to actually win games. Yeah, I get what I'm saying. But at, now, yeah, I mean, that's all I got to say. I, the Bills are just really the best team in there. Like, no doubt about that. Like, Tom Brady leaving the Patriots was probably one of the biggest devastations in that franchise. But um, going to the AFC West, I'm going to have the Chiefs. No doubt winning the division at 15 and 2 with the Chargers being in second place. I do think the Chargers are going to be one of the most underrated teams this year. Unless, unless, because Justin Herbert is great. I'm not going to lie. He's pretty, he's really good. But I, 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 as long as it's not like the Lions where they have a, such a good quarterback but not a good team around and they lose games. I, I'm I'm not hope I'm I'm not hoping for that. I just I really want the Chargers to I want Justin Herbert to do great. So I'm gonna have the Chargers going twelve and five, but other than that, they might actually lose a lot of games. Now we got the Raiders in third place at seven and ten. And then the Broncos in last at fourteen. Four and four and thirteen. Uh, it's kinda hard to pick who's gonna be the worst teams and who's gonna be the best teams I mean it wasn't much of a problem last year I had to I predicted some of them almost perfectly I actually got the Jaguars one perfectly I, I had them going 1 and 15 
they actually went one and fifteen. I also had the Jets going one and fifteen, but they went two and fourteen, I believe. But you just just to show you, but I mean there were a lot of misses I had last year too. Like I had I think I had the Raiders going like four and twelve and uh Browns having like a losing record too. So <laughs> a lot of things can change throughout the year, so but the last division I have here is the AFC South with the Titans winning the division at 13 and 4 with the and the Colts uh being in second place 12 and 5. As long as Wentz stays healthy, I do think the Colts will will have a good year. The Jaguars being 6 and 11, I mean, I get, you can say it's an improvement for last year with Trevor Lawrence. Again, I think he's good, but I don't think they have a, the the team around them to be a winning team if that makes sense and then the Texans of course being last I, I even called it last year with the Texans not doing good last year like even being like one of the last last seeding teams and guess what I was right about that but and I'm predicting it again because I even if Deshaun Watson plays I do think they're still gonna lose games they lost a lot of games last year with him and if, without him they're gonna lose a lot of more games so um and those are my predictions if we're gonna go to the seedings now first place will be ten, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they get to buy. Second place being the Los Angeles Rams. Third place being the Cowboys because they won the division, obviously. And fourth place being the Packers. With with the, with the fifth place being the Seahawks. Sixth place the 49ers. And seventh place being the Cardinals. And y'all yeah, understand how the seedings work. And uh, to, in the AFC side, um, first place being the Kansas City Chiefs. Second place being the Bills. Third place being the Titans and the fourth, fourth place being the Ravens, fifth place being the Colts, sixth place being the Chargers, and seventh place being the Browns. And yeah, I think y'all know how the how the games work. It's second versus seventh, third versus sixth, and fourth versus fifth. So that way these games are gonna be Rams and versus Cardinals, Cowboys versus 49ers, Packers versus Seahawks, Bills versus Browns, Titans versus Chargers, and Ravens versus Colts. And the, my winners we don't just do season predictions we also do Super Bowl predictions I think everyone does that but these are my results Rams and Cardinals the Rams win it Cowboys and 49ers the Cowboys win it whoa the Cowboys won a playoff game oh my god it's the end of the world and then Packers versus Seahawks it will be the Packers being the Seahawks I believe that Bills versus Browns I got the Bills winning that Titans versus Chargers I think it will be close but Titans win it it was a pretty close one. Ravens versus Colts. I wouldn't be surprised if the Colts will win it, but I, I have the Ravens winning it. That will be leaving us with, obviously, the low seed playing the first seed. So it will be, uh, where's the results at? Buccaneers versus Packers and Brands versus Cowboys. See, no, that's Seahawks. Ravens versus Chiefs and, and Titans versus Bills. Our results are Packers. Beating the Buccaneers, Aaron Rodgers will have his revenge, and Rams beating the Cowboys, sadly. <laughs> and then on the AFC side, the Chiefs beating the Ravens, and the and the Bills actually beating the Titans. Although if if that was to happen, I can see the Bills win, the Titans winning that game match. Leaving us with the championship round being the Rams versus the Packers versus the Bills versus the Chiefs once again. Although, I think it would be nice to make it be, be the Titans. Maybe I should have chosen the Titans, but it's all well. It's too late. I already made it. I already made my list. And then my results will be Packers beating the Rams. Although, with Aaron Rodgers, not since he's doing his comeback season, I think it's getting so hyped up where he to, to a point where he'll probably make the Super Bowl. And then the Bills, Bills and Chiefs. I have the Chiefs beating the Bills. With a Super Bowl of the Green Bay Packers versus the Kansas City Chiefs, and my and my prediction for the Super this year's Super Bowl champions will be the Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> I think that's such a basic prediction, but that's what I ran with. So that will be, that. Those are my results. The Chiefs being Super Bowl Fifty Six champions. So I know I'm gonna I, I know I'm gonna get back in this video and pr and probably be super wrong, but that's the point. That's the reason I make these videos. So. Uh, it's all right. It's whatever. I know it was not one of the most perfect predictions. I can tell you that right now. But I'm really excited for this season. Like I have a lot of confidence on the Cowboys here. Not saying it's our year, 
but definitely they're definitely a playoff team this year they're definitely gonna win the division no doubt but uh, that's it for my video uh hope y'all enjoyed uh hopefully i don't got y'all didn't get too triggered about my predictions but hey if, if i had one of your teams being really bad i guess you can comment down and try to explain why i was wrong maybe and we'll see what we'll see where that goes but that's it thank y'all thank you for watching and i'll see you week one of the regular season peace